Hi, cutie pies. I am Lanikia, and you are watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is Days of Our Lives edition. Today is Monday, uh, January the 1st, 2024. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful uh, new year and, that, you know, a wonderful end of your year into the, into the new year. Let's go ahead and get, go ahead and get into this. Um, it is super early and Mila just would not go back to sleep. But let's go ahead and get into this. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this one a solid um, it was a solid eight. It was a good episode. First of all, um, because they were not really in the storyline, I'm going to go ahead and get Paulina and Abe out of the way. Um, we see he come, you know, he was over there for New Year's and everything to spend it with her. And she's happy to have him there, but he gets her to talk um, and tell what's been going on with her. And so she finally admits that she hasn't been feeling well. She tells him her symptoms. Then she tells him, you know, they fi found out it was her thyroid so of course she's taking uh, medication but then they thought that maybe it might be cancerous so that she's she's going through all of this um and she tells abe at the end of the day i don't want you here a man i you know you're my husband and chanel is my rock she supports me she loves me she is going to help me get through this I don't want a man that's my husband that doesn't remember me to help me get through this because it's very hard to want to lean on you and you see me as an acquaintance. And he was like, girl, I don't see you as uh, an acquaintance. I, you're my wife. And she said, but not in the, you know, she wants love and support. And, and you know, she was like, you don't have your memory. He said, memory or not, I, you're my wife and I love you and I'm not leaving your side because she told him, you need to go. You need to leave. I got all these health health issues and I want to be with somebody who, you know, wants to be with me fully and committed and not trying to get to date me and get to know me. And um, so but anyways, when he tells her he loves her, she was like, you love me. And he was like, yes, of course, I love you. So y'all didn't see with them. Let's move on. It was a cute little scene and everything. It's nice. I wish they would go ahead and give Abe his memory back. Because if you're going to go down this storyline, just give him his memory back so he can truly be invested in helping Paulina. Um, and y'all, that that's that's the end of them. So then we go over here because y'all remember Friday, Holly um, overdosed, right? So then we go over here with Holly, and um, so Tate is with Holly. He he finds her on the ground and everything, and he's he's scared he doesn't know what to do and then the next thing you know he's trying to be like holly what, what's the matter what's going on and she just keeps um you know convulsing and so then this police officer come i don't know where this police officer came from but she was just like what's going on what are you doing and all this and she was like um what happened to her and so he's trying to explain but like she she real forceful with it aggressive you know with it um, and I get it because she's trying to figure out what it, did you do something to her? But ma'am, like try to be calm about this and, and figure this out. Right. So everyone's inside the party and um, Brady is just like, where is Tate? Where is Tate? And he asked Teresa and she said, no, he's been with Holly. So he's asking people and they were like, he's with Holly. Then he gets a text message and he runs outside and everything. And Tate is there, the police, you know, the police officer is there, and she grabs the medicine from um, Tate. Cause, so now it looks like he gave Holly the medicine. But we all know, didn't nobody give Holly anything. This was her medicine. So now they're trying to figure out, like, did you give this to her? And now she she turns sick. And so then Stefan is on the inside, he and Ava, and someone just got engaged, right? And so they're celebrating their engagement. They were like, this this couple just got engaged um on new year's at the bistro and because of that but before he could finish they hear these uh police sirens the ambulance they hear all this commotion they're like what's going on here so then harris and rafe have arrived and um they you know they're asking questions trying to keep people away from the scene and then um every it's, it's a lot happening at one time so the police officer is questioning Tate 
Um, and then they're getting Holly to an ambulance and they find out it's Holly, the one who she's overdosed at the bistro and everything. And they're like, oh my gosh, you know, they're scared to death. And then um, Rafe, excuse me, not Rafe, Harris talks to Ava and Stefan and he's like, like what's going on and they were like who who what you said that was holly and that he was like yes yeah, she overdosed what's going on because this is y'all establishment and they found her in the back of it overdosed um so what's going on have y'all heard anything did y'all hear any whispers and he being a little aggressive because he's trying to figure out what this guy like i heard a package came in earlier today i see you two back here now somebody's overdosed at your establishment back, you know, where the package was and everything. So now I'm starting to look at y'all a little. He, it seemed like he was a little suspect about them. And they were like, no, we haven't heard any whispers or anything about drugs. And, of course, they're shook up because they know it was the, you know, possibly their, their drugs. And so then everyone in the party starts finding out about Holly. And, of course, uh, when Teresa hears this, she um is ready to go to the hospital, you know, because they realized that Brady probably went to the hospital with Faith. So she's ready to go and things of that nature. And so then back at the um bistro, everyone ends up leaving. Everyone goes and they're go doing their own thing, right? And we see Stefan and Ava talking. And, and he says, Ava, we don't. And didn't y'all love Ava's drop earrings? I love those too. Anyways. He said, he says, Ava, we don't know that this is because of us. And she said, oh, Stefan, please. <laughs> you cannot tell me that since we started doing this for Clyde, that you sleep well at night and that you wake up um, in the morning and you don't, you are okay with yourself, you know? And he was like, she was like, because if you say that, I know you're a liar because you don't like this any more than I do. So he's trying to be like, but we don't know where Holly got the drugs from. It could have been from anybody. And and we just got to keep going. Like, what are we supposed to do, Ava? We, we Clyde's got us where he wants us. And there's nothing we can do about it. All we can do is just praise that Holly's okay. So she tries to call Trip. Trip is not answering his phone. She talks to the receptionist. Um, she won't give her any information. She tells her Trip isn't available. And so Ava's just like, oh my gosh, this this could not be worse. Like they they are stressed out in the bistro. They are stressed. And so he tells her, let's just go home and get a good night's sleep, and um and and let's just get our story straight first. We need to get our story straight. Like we didn't know, we didn't see nothing, we didn't hear nothing, we don't know nothing. And then as they're talking, as they're talking, Clyde um they. Stefan gets a call from Statesville and she said, is it Gabby? And he says, Gabby is not allowed to make calls in the middle of the night in the wee hours. So this ain't nobody but Clyde. And that's it with them, y'all. Let's move on. So then um, we see that Brady and Tate have made it to the hospital. So they're at the hospital and Brady tells Tate, you need to tell me what went on. Cause he, of course Tate is shaken up by all this. And so he tells him the story. He was like, we were at the party. We were having a really great time. And Brady was like, I know I saw y'all. And then Tate, ma'am, ma'am. And then Tate says, um, and then Holly said, oh, I know how to make the party even better. And she brings out this little pill. So he said, so there were her pills. He was like, yes. And he said, and I told her, I'm not going to take any drugs. My parents are addicts. And he says, I know, I know you would never touch that, right? He said, I told her, yes. He said, the next thing I know, she got mad at me and she was stormed off. I wanted to give her some time to cool down. She said she was going to the bathroom and then I couldn't find her. So I started looking for her and that's when I found her on the ground. Now pause right there because then we're going to go over here to EJ and Nicole. So they just sitting there enjoying their New Year's together, you know, celebrating you know and the next thing you know she's like well i'm gonna stay up because i want to wait on holly to see how her date went and everything and he just was like i could wait up with you and she was like no 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 you don't have to do that so he was about to go to bed but then um nicole gets a phone call and it's rafe and he tells her nicole you got to get to the hospital and she was like what's going on and he tells her about holly and she said what you mean holly overdosed he was like nicole just get to the hospital as fast as you can um and she was like okay i'm going i'm going and so then Ray, um, she was about to um go to the hospital. She tells uh he, she just tells EJ she's about to go. So she leaves out. And so then we go to back to the hospital where Tate and Brady are talking, and Nicole comes in. Um 
And the nurse had told Brady and Tate that Holly was in trauma, but she couldn't give them any more information because they're not family. So when Nicole comes in, she's like, Brady, what's going on? He was like, it's Holly. She overdosed. She said, I know where, what happened? Where is she? And she was like, Brady, where is she? Because he was like having a hard time telling her what was going on. And he said, she's in the trauma unit. So Nicole takes off, right? So in the trauma unit, Nicole is with Holly and she, well, she goes in while Trip is working on Holly. He's trying to revive her because she like her, her vital signs are dropping. So she's like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And, and the nurse tells her you can't be in here. So they're, you know, working on Holly and everything. And then the next thing you know, Trip comes out. He comes out of the room and he speaks to Nicole and he's like, um, Nicole, she's she's still alive and Nicole was like oh my gosh thank goodness he was like but she's in a coma Nicole there was complications she's in a coma and Nicole was like oh my gosh um and pause right here because for the next like 20 seconds I'm just gonna say this the fact that days of our lives never wins any <laughs> awards is baffling to me like I didn't even I didn't watch the daytime soaps because honestly I forgot it was on and I could go back and watch it because I think I recorded it but I probably won't because when I saw who won I was like what but the fact that days of our lives wins nothing is so baffling to me um because it's just like they don't ever they would like but anyways let's pick up the storyline but i'm just saying this is one of the best soaps um their storylines are well thought you know they're thought out sometimes days is days and but if you watch the other soaps you know they they do their thing too but anyways getting back to this so he tells her she's in um a coma and nicole is just like oh my gosh but i said that to say if nicole does not win an award next year I'm going to be upset because she's been playing this role out. So Nicole is just like, oh my gosh. So then Nicole goes in um, with Holly and she starts singing, you know, hush little baby, don't you cry. And then she just, I said, man, y'all, y'all know Nicole is not my favorite, but baby days has put her through it. <laughs> this last few months, this last month. Days has put her through it. And so she's crying because she just lost a child, her newborn. And now her daughter is in a coma. Like that's a lot. And so she's crying and she's singing to Holly and she's just like, you know, trying to wheel her back to her. So then we go back outside and we see that Rafe, um, Teresa and Alex come up with Brady and Tate. And so they're all talking, right? And Teresa's like, oh, oh, Tate. And, and you know, he's warm towards her and everything. And she's telling him, you know, are you okay? And he was like, well, he was warm. And then she was like, no, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Um, what, you know, I just saw Holly convulsing and, and, and overdose and everything in front of me. And so she's he's upset brady trying to calm him down and then alex pulls teresa to the side and she says do you think he was like do you think we need to get um tate tested and she was like tested for what and he was like she said you trying to say he did drugs he was like you never know and she was like my son does not do drugs he knows his parents are addicts he knows that and he's always swore he would never touch him because he didn't want to go down the path he didn't want to go down the path that his mom and his dad went down so no, my son does not need to be tested because he's not on drugs. And he was like, well, what they say and what they do are two different things or whatever. And so, you know, he said what they say and what they do are um two different things. So you never know. And she was just like, well, yeah, my son is not being tested because no, um, he that's, that's not his avenue, right? And then she tell Alex, and by the way, you can leave. Because at this point, it's like she didn't need that type of energy around her. I know Alex was trying to be helpful, but he was like, I'm not going to leave you here. And she was like, no, this is a family matter. You go. And I said, well, okay, Alex, go on about your business. <laughs> she didn't want to hear that at that moment. She didn't want to hear that. And so she goes back to Tate and she was like, I'm sorry. I know that was hard watching her OD in front of you. And then she says, Tate, can I ask you a question? And he like, what's up? And she said, 
were you did you take anything and but before he could answer rafe comes up and rafe tells um tate i need to ask you a few questions to find out what's going on um and he said because you're a minor um i have to read this statement so he starts reading him him his rights um and so brady said why are you reading this because he, he was like i have to do this brady you know your both your parents are here you're a minor i have to do this and he said um he's telling him do you think you need a lawyer and and brady's like no he doesn't need a lawyer i said get this little man a lawyer if if the police came and started reading my child rights, I'd be like, uh-uh. I don't care if the, I, I knew 1,000% they were in it. So I'd be like, no, 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 no. We're about to get the lawyer because I don't know what y'all finna do. I don't know the trickery y'all about to do. But anyways, he tells him, um, he reads it and everything. But before he could start really getting into the conversation, Trip comes and he pulls Rafe to the side and he starts telling Rafe about Holly. So Brady is like, give me just a minute. And so Brady goes up and he hears the end of the conversation where they say Holly is in a coma. And Brady's like, wait, Holly's in a coma? And Trip says, you're not family, so I can't give you any information. Um, but she's getting the best treatment. And Trip leaves. And so Rafe goes back over to, no, Rafe talks to Brady and he said, Brady, I need to know what happened with um, Tate. He was like, okay, we can ask him. So he's asking Tate questions, right? And Tate says, he was like, Tate said, I already told my dad. And so Rafe says, okay, now tell me what happened. So he starts to explain what we all know, which is that Holly is the one who had the pills. Maybe EJ came through and he said, uh-uh, my stepdaughter did not have those pills, sir. If she did not have those pills, she would never have um, drugs on her. I said, oh, Lord. Um, I said, oh, Lord, we, we about to, this is about to be a mess. This is about to be a whole mess, but I'm going to be watching, job. And so that's how it went off, really. Well, actually, it went off with Holly and Nicole, but I didn't want to end on that note. Um, so, y'all, that was Days of Our Lives. I said, oh, y'all going to start off the new year with a good episode. Baby, Days takes no breaks. They had an episode on Thanksgiving. They had an episode on Christmas. They have an episode on New Year's. They're like, we are on Peacock now. We're not stuck. We don't have to worry about bowl games and championships or any of that kind of stuff slowing us down. We're going. And that's exactly what they're doing. But anyways, y'all, enjoy uh, your new year. I hope you guys set some goals and, and can, you know, achieve those. Be safe. Be blessed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for an all new episode of What Happened on the Soaps, Days of Our Lives edition. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.